You will need some trays filled with different coloured paint, a large sheet of paper, a bowl of water and some kitchen towel or some wet wipes. As you are going to get messy, you need something to help clear up and a black marker pen. When printing, choose which body part you are going to use first. I use my hands. I simply dipped my hand into the paint, coating it generously and pressed it onto the paper firmly to make sure that the print was shown clearly. In between colours, make sure that you wash or wipe your hands off so that the colours don't mix unless that's the technique and look you're going for. I had a lobster in mind when creating these red hand prints which would work alongside a red footprint. Remember you can use your hands at different angles and use two at the same time if you would like to to create a certain effect. I had some animals in mind that I wanted to create through body printing. I took inspiration from the Commotion in the Ocean book on the Let's Read page for these shapes. As soon as I printed this one I knew it looked like a crab. Look for shapes of animals within your prints. Then I use the same technique but this time using my feet. Be careful as the paint is slippery so make sure that you don't fall over when printing. Here I used a combination of hands and feet to create a desired shape. Make sure to also wash or wipe your feet in between colours and lay something down on the floor if you don't want the surface to get ruined. Once finished, leave your paint to dry before part two. Once your paint is dry, grab a marker pen and begin to edit your prints to make them look like animals. Here I've created a crab and a lobster that I took inspiration from the Commotion in the Ocean book. There are many different designs and animals you can make, so get creative. And always remember you can use what you want to edit them. That may be some more paint or some colouring pencils.